Hi everyone, our subject today is jaundice in the older infant or child. Basic description, jaundice is a yellow or green yellow hue to the skin, sclera and mucous membrane, which can be appreciated at the serum bilirubin level more than 2 mg per deciliter. In conjugated bilirubin, 80% is due to the hemoglobin turnover and 20% is from degeneration of hepatic and renal heme proteins. It is a hydrophobic compound that must be carried to the liver by albumin for processing. Conjugated bilirubin, conjugated to glucuronic acid in the liver, a water-soluble derivative that help lipid emulsification and absorption. Conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, direct hyperbilirubinemia, a conjugated bilirubin more than 2 mg per deciliter or more than 20% of total bilirubin. Epidemiology, the most common causes of pathologic jaundice in older child are viral hepatitis, autoimmune hepatitis, Wilson disease, biliary obstruction. History. Unexplained itching, significant, cholestatic liver disease, conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, history of poor school performance, change in mental status, handwriting, significance, Wilson disease. Review the medical history in the older child who present with jaundice because certain illness are associated with the specific liver complication. Example include cystic fibrosis, hemolytic disorder, hemoglobinopathies, AIDS, and inflammatory bowel disease. Include a travel history, tattoos, drug and alcohol use, and potential exposure to hepatitis outbreak and sexual activity. A family history of jaundice, anemia, liver disease, splenectomy, or cholecystectomy suggest hereditary disorder. Examination finding, scratch marks, Significance, pruritus secondary to cholestasis. Finding, spider angioma, palmar erythema, significant, chronic liver disease. Finding, heart murmur, significance, allergy syndrome, peripheral pulmonic stenosis. Cyplinomegaly, significance, suggests acute hemolysis in unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia or chronic liver disease and portal hypertension in conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. Finding ascites, significant, suggest portal hypertension. Finding a colic stool, significant, severe cholestasis or biliary obstruction. A small liver on examination is consistent with a chronic liver disorder, hepatitis or cirrhosis. A large tender liver suggests acute hepatitis or congestive heart failure. Cyplinomegaly occurs in hemolytic disorder and in some oncologic disorders. Neurologic findings such as tremor, fine tremor in uh, coordination, clumsy gait, and choriform movement suggest Wilson disease. Eye examination may reveal Kaiser Fleischer rings in Wilson disease or posterior embryotoxin in allergy syndrome. A workup specifically for jaundice may not be necessarily when an underlying diagnosis such as congestive heart failure or sepsis is evident. How to approach the child with the jaundice? After performing history and physical examination, obtain total, direct, and indirect bilirubin. If it is predominantly indirect and conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, consider CBC with the smear, retic count, Coombs test, direct antiglobulin test. If it is high retic count, if it is yes, send patient for hemoglobin electrophoresis, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, with or without coagulation studies, PT, PTT, D-dimer, fibrinogen, differential diagnosis may include RBC membrane defects, RBC enzyme deficiency, G6PD, hemoglobinopathy, sickle uh, disease, thalassemia, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, fragmentation hemolysis, DIC. If it is a normal retic count, differential diagnosis may include Infection, sepsis, drug, toxin, familial hyperbilirubinemia syndromes like Gilbert syndrome, kligler najjar syndrome, Lucy Driscoll syndrome, prolonged fasting, portocable shunt. If it is 
<coughs> predominantly direct conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, sent patient for liver function test, AST, ALT, GGT, alkaline phosphatase, PT, serum glucose, albumin. If laboratory study suggestive of biliary obstruction like elevated GGT, if it is yes, ultrasound, CT scan, helical CT scan, differential diagnosis may include gallstone, primary sclerosing cholangitis, cholidocal cyst, and tumors. If it is not suggestive of biliary obstruction, consider serological test for viral hepatitis A to the E, Evishtern bar virus, anti-mitochondrial antibodies, anti-nuclear antibodies, anti-smooth uh, muscle, liver, kidney, microsomal antibody, serum level of iron, transferrin, and ferrin, serum, seroloplasmine, alpha-1 antitrypsin activity. Differential diagnosis may include infectious hepatitis, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, Wilson disease, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, drugs, toxin, autoimmune hepatitis, familial hyperbilirubinemia syndromes, rotor syndrome, Dobbin-Johnson syndrome, intrahepatic cholestasis, cystic fibrosis, veno-occlusive disease, congestive heart failure, neoplasm, sickle cell disease with the intrahepatic sickling, hemochromatosis. <coughs> hepatitis A virus, Subacute onset of anorexia, vomiting, diarrhea, and jaundice. Two thirds of children are asymptomatic. Liver tenderness and hepatomegaly. Usually self limited with lifelong subsequent immunity. Fulminant hepatitis less than 1%. Maybe history of community epidemic. Increased serum transaminase and bilirubin. Positive anti hepatitis A, IgM, antibody. Aplastic anemia is a rare complication that occur late in the infection or shortly after resolution of infection. <clears throat> Treatment, supportive therapy with the fluids, rest, low-fat diet are standard. Prevention by immunization should be performed in epidemic area. Isolation to prevent fecal oral spread. Passive immunization of contact with the immunoglobulin. Avoid unnecessary medication or surgery during acute phase. Autoimmune hepatitis, acute or chronic hepatitis, mainly in adolescent girls. Weight loss, fever, malaise, arthralgia, acne, amenorrhea, gynecomastia in males, pleurisity, pericarditis, diarrhea, erythema nodosum, digital clubbing are all seen. Hypergamma globulinemia, positive antinuclear antibody, anti smooth muscle or anti liver kidney microsomal antibodies, elevated serum transaminase and bilirubin. Rarely evolves from a drug induced hepatitis associated with ulcerative colitis, Sjogren syndrome, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Liver biopsy is essential to the diagnosis. Wilson disease. Autosomal recessive condition with the mutation of ATP7B gene that directs synthesis of protein needed in copper transport. Usual presentation in children, hepatomegaly and liver dysfunction in child more than 4 years. Liver disease at presentation may be fulminant hepatitis, chronic hepatitis or silent cirrhosis. Occasional Children present with severe hemolytic crisis followed by fulminant liver failure. 25% of childhood cases identified by screening after an affected sibling has been diagnosed. Kaiser Fischer link, neurological deterioration, and psychiatric symptom occur late. Elevated liver, serum, and urine copper usually low, and serum seruloplasmin, low alkaline phosphatase, and uric acid. Peers, edema of the gallbladder wall frequently seen on ultrasound and of the abdomen in hepatitis A. Not every teenage girl with weight loss and amenorrhea has anorexia nervosa. Look for palmar erythema, digital clubbing, spider telangiectasia, and macrocytosis in such patient as a key to chronic liver disease. 
a low alkaline phosphatase with the elevated transaminase and is a very good clue that your patient with the acute or chronic liver disease has also 